Hello dear friends, Assalamu alaikum to all. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. With the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Dear friends, welcome again to my channel RMZ and Merchandising underscore Khamrul. Yes, today I'm going to discuss with another very very important things that is manual fabric consumption of a oven top products. Manual fabric consumption of a oven top products. Dear friends, manual fabric consumption is only required while do the costing in front to front in face to face with buyer maybe in bangladesh or maybe outside of the country you know sometime in this industry sometimes have to visit outside uh, to do the uh, costing with buyer in costing meeting have to do the costing with buyer in face to face and that time actually no option uh, but to do this uh, conversion manually that's why uh, this manual fabric consumption, consumption is very very required because without fabric consumption you can't do the costing so dear friends uh, yes uh, last two session i uh, discussed about the uh, manual consumption of knit products i mean knit top on first session on second session i discussed knit bot uh, knit bottom products and today i'm going to discuss about oven top oven top means yeah see i have already oven shirt this is oven top products it's been shirt and bottom you know pant or trouser so again i'm going to share and say that costing is very very fundamental tax of merchandising in rmd industry and while costing the merchandising team should keep in head some vital parameters if only they know they can do the smooth and efficient costing and that is the parameters are what smb efficiency productivity cpm cm spm line cost machine cost work station and how to calculate all of them as well as <coughs> as well as uh, fabric consumption must need then all price fabric price need uh, exercise price need yarn consumption swing thread consumption as well as uh, if there is value addition i mean print embroidery or wash dry process wet process everything should know for doing a smooth costing so dear friends i'm going to share one page and through that page i'm going to show how to do the manual fabric consumption of a oven top products please be with me yeah yes dear friends i'm going to going to share one page and through this page i'm going to discuss how to calculate fabric consumption uh, manually of a open shirt uh, dear friends i think you can see my page uh, what i have shared already uh, before starting i'm again sorry because you know my throat condition is still not up to mark and last two weeks i didn't do any video but yes today i'm trying uh, so please forgive me here you can see uh, on <coughs> shirts are top side then back side and also on uh, some important measurement are given uh, actually these measurements are needed to calculate the fabric consumption and if you see the top part uh, there all every parts name is also given <coughs> and uh, before starting i'm going to uh, uh, think about i'm going to say that so what is the basic things is here actually you have to make the fabric consumption so uh, it's actually like area in our math what we learned uh, you have to make any area like uh, if we give one rectangle and if we see that's okay make the area of this rectangle what we did just we did we, we took length and we took width and we did the multiply that width and length and we got the area same way for the square if we multiply length and width we got the area so here the same we have to take the total length of the shirt and we have to take the total width and we have to make the area uh, but here are uh, lots of parts is here i mean a uh, body part slip part collar pocket so every part we have to make the area calculate the area and we have to add then automatically you will get the fabric consumption now we start let's just the first we, have, we are going to start with the body portion fabric record for the body portion so we have to think about the body length and body width so what is the length here length means from this high point i mean this, this soldier from the high point soldier to the bottom hem this total length is given here measurement is given here see the a high point soldier sps 32.5 it is the total length so length is 32.5 high point uh, uh, length then um, if we go the back back there is you know back yoke back yoke may see from this swing to top here this this is called back yoke i mean top to this up to this cut and sew so this yoke portion you know it is called the yoke and you know the yoke portion of fabric is double and the yoke height is given here 5 inch 
so we have to add this 5 inch with the length uh, to get the full length so then see here 5 we have added here then 3.5 inch it is the allowance allowance means why allowance because see here is cut and sew top part then in the yoke part there is cut and sew and in the bottom cut and sew so in every point there are some oysters to cover this oysters this 3.5 inch allowance we have to take so this way we have got the total length 41 inch now its length we have got now come to the width width if we consider here see is the bottom arm hole this point to this point see this portion from this point to this point it is the chest width it is the chest width so chest width is given given is here chest width is given here see uh chest is 24 inch it is the, it is the half chest it is the half chest 24 inch given now we have to take the full chest so 24 into 2 so 48 inch we have got so total we have got the chest portion now here also added 5 inch as a allowance why if you think this placket see this button placket this placket this portion is fabric is double this portion placket fabric is double and uh, you know top part bottom part here placket is double fabric and here uh, this uh, side seam here side seam cut and sew cut and sew so if we add here 5 inch including the placket portion uh, that would be, that would cover the total width so here we have got the length and width now just the formula what the area formula length and width same i have done here Let multiply length and width but here why to help you know i will also discuss the same for fabric kind calculation in rmg industry always not only fabric in every calculation actually we are uh, used to doing dozen best <coughs> so here also fabric consumption we have done doing we are doing in double best so if we multiply the 12 automatically we will get per dozen best and so length with uh, uh, divide by fabric width and unit so what is the fabric width fabric width is, width is given here 44 inch one is important thing is here whenever we will call it whenever we uh, source the fabric from the supplier of course we, uh, we have we are a, we have to collect the uh, fabric details i mean thin case details then fabric cutable with uh, full with finish with so here for this fabric fabric is uh, with cutable with is given is for 44 so just divide this with the 44 and then unit unit means here see fabric all measurement is given is inch we have to make it yards so we know that's 36 inch equal one yards so if we divide by 36 automatically we will get the yards so here putting all the measurement we can get 16.4 we have got here 16.46 years for the per, per dozen so fabric for the body portion already we have got the same way go for slip portion the fabric regard for the slip portion slip length from this point to total end i mean a cup end this is the length and with this this arm hold this arm hold is, is with so now take the measurement from here what is the slip length slip length is given here 24 inch and the armhole this armhole line from armhole this top to this bottom armhole this point uh, full armhole is given given 21 inch i mean total circle uh, i mean uh, this armhole circle so it is 21 inch and it is 24 inch just multiply put the value here 24 <coughs> and then with 21 now come to the about L L allowance why three because you know for the slip inside there is a cup and this cup portion is double this cup portion is double so here we have to consider uh, this fabric then here is cut and sew and cut and sew <coughs> so considering this all I have to consider a uh, three inch Th this three inch allowance with the cup including the cup so total 27 inch same way the width width here is given is 21 inch and uh, for this inside i mean in seam cut and sew one inch is allowance so 22 we have got now same like above uh, if we <coughs> put the formula use the formula we will get here nine years for the silly portion now go for the pocket portion pocket is a small part there is a given is here pocket uh, height or length is five inch and width is 4.5 inch now put here value the pocket fabric record, record fabric record for the pocket portion height five inch one inch allowance for d2 cut and seal the same way with with the allowance it is 5.5 so put the all the value in the formula we, uh, you can, uh, we can get here 0.25 years per dozen <clears throat> now what we have got here fabric part slip part pocket part at all the point all the years so total fabric we have got 25.71 years per dozen it is the net consumption 
now you know uh, yes one thing you, you may think missing that's color actually color what the kind of calculation you have done here from top to bottom length and width and every allowance the color part is very less that's automatically automatically it would covered and um yeah it is the 25.71 one is net consumption but you know after getting the marker or uh, marker uh, in the cutting table there are some oysters so considering that oysters as well as you know always we try to do some extra treatment so considering the both uh if we add five percent that would be more perfect uh to, to get the final consumption so here just add the five percent the final consumption we have got 27 years for this men's shirt so that's all today uh but yes one, one important thing dear friends that is a fabric shrinkage yes fabric shrinkage is very important thing uh you have to take in you have to take in consideration uh, due to nature of fabric uh and due to nature of wash different wash uh, the shrinkage um, will be very would be very uh, would uh, so the shrinkage would vary so, and uh, you have to consider uh, that shrinkage portion percentage also with this consumption uh, so whatever shrinkage length and which was would come uh, from the you have to add with the length and width with each uh, measurement with each portion and uh, if then we have to add uh, then we will get the final consumption so dear friends that's all for today uh, you know last uh, the last two session i discussed about the manual fabric consumption uh, for knit top i mean knit t-shirts uh, then uh, the second session i discussed about the knit bottom i mean knit trousers or knit pants uh, fabric consumption and today I'm, i have discussed about uh, open top i mean open shirts shirts and uh, the next session i'm going to discuss about open bottom i mean open uh, trouser pant conversion so these are with the four session i am covering all the manual fabric conversion so dear friends uh, please be with me and uh, those who are still not subscribed please please do subscribe my channel and please be with me that's all for today thanks